Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to show you how to set up a Minecraft 1.11 server on your Mac. Now I do want to point out that this is not a 24 hour server. If your computer is not on or not running, your server will not be running either. Also in order to get to it, people have to use your direct IP address, which is not the safest way as if anyone has it, they can mess with your internet connection. If you're interested in getting a safe, reliable, and really affordable Minecraft server, you can go ahead and check out the breakdown.xyz slash apex. This is going to give you a 24-7 Minecraft server that's safe, reliable, and extremely affordable to be able to play Minecraft with all of your friends. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video showing you how to set up a Minecraft server in 1.11. So the first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to this link. It's the second link in the description below and it is the Minecraft server jar file. Go ahead and click here for the download and it should download to your downloads folder. And from there we're going to drag it to our desktop and then right click create a new folder and just name this Minecraft server. Now what you need to do is drag the jar file into the Minecraft server file and from here you can go ahead and open up the folder and double click on the server file. Now I want to point out if it doesn't work correctly you may need to download Java which you can do by going to the third link in the description and right here on Mac OS X click on this file right here. Go ahead and install that and it's going to install Java onto your Mac which will allow you to open this application. So once you have Java installed what you need to do is just go ahead and double click on this file and then it's going to say if you have Gatekeeper enabled that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. That's perfectly fine, it's perfectly safe. Just go ahead and click OK and then go to System Preferences. From here what you need to do is type in Gatekeeper and it's going to take you to the Security and Privacy Preferences. From here as you can see it says Minecraft underscore server 1.11 can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. That's perfectly fine, go ahead and click Open anyway and then once again click Open. So now the file is going to go ahead and open and it's going to add a few more files into this folder. So the next step you need to do is go ahead and open this file with TextEdit. Now this is eula.txt, it should open with TextEdit by default, but to be safe right click on it and open with TextEdit. Now right here where it says eula equals false, go ahead and change that to true. Save the file and then it should save the file in your Minecraft server folder. Then what you need to do once that has been saved is go ahead and double click on the Minecraft server jar file again. So once this is opened, you're going to see down here, once it finishes everything up, that it says done. That's perfectly normal, obviously. Just go ahead and type stop here, and it's going to end the server to make sure it's not using any more resources. Now what you need to do is go ahead and go to your system preferences, and then from here, go to network. Once you have this opened, what you need to do is click on advanced, and then you should be able to come over here to TCP slash IP. Now what you need to do from here is copy your IPv4 address, by simply highlighting it and clicking Command C and then go to your server's property folder. So what we're going to do is just drag this to text edit to make sure it opens with that. So once that opens you need to find server IP equals and paste your IPv4 address. Go ahead and save the file and then you can close out of this window. So now that that's done what you need to do is go back to system preferences and to the network page and go ahead and copy your router number which is right here. So all you do is highlight it, Command C and then go to your browser, open a new tab and paste that in. So it's going to ask you for the name and password that you used when you set up the router. If you don't know what that is, go to the fourth link in the description right here, which is routerpasswords.com. Select your router manufacturer and you should be able to find the default login information for your router. So once you have it open, you need to look for something along the lines of apps and gaming, port forwarding, or forwarding. Most likely it'll be under an advanced section. However, for me, it's just simply set up as forwarding. From here, what you need to do is go ahead and click Add New to add a new service port. And then right here where it says Service Port, you need to type in 25565. And then for Internal Port, you need to do the same thing, 25565. So for your IP address, what you need to do is go back to System Preferences, find your IPv4 address, highlight it, copy it, and paste it right here. You can leave protocol set to all and for status leave it as enabled. I do want to point out that if your protocol doesn't have an all option, there might be one that says TCP slash UDP, that would be the one you select. So once you have that set up, go ahead and click save and it should set up the port forward. So now we're almost done, what we need to do is copy the IPv4 address, 
go to your applications folder and open up Minecraft. So after you have that set up, go ahead and double click on Minecraft server jar, and this will go ahead and start your server. Like I said, because this isn't a 24-7 server, every time you want to play, you need to go through and open up this file again to make sure that the server is running. Now once you have that done, you can go ahead and open up Minecraft, and then go to multiplayer, click on direct connect, and then what you need to do is go to system preferences and copy your IPv4 address. Go ahead and paste that in, and click on join server. So after a few seconds your server will go ahead and log all of the files, it'll create the world, and as you can see here, we have a Minecraft server. So the next step you need to do is get your public IP address so that your friends and family and anyone that you want to join the server can join it. So go ahead and disconnect from the server and then go to your internet browser, open a new tab, and go to Google. Once you're to Google, all you need to do is type IP click enter on your keyboard and as you can see here it will show your public IP address so what you need to do is go ahead and copy this click on direct connect and then paste that into your server address in Minecraft click join server and it'll log you into the server and that is how your friends can join your private Minecraft server so thanks for watching this video on how to set up a Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.11 on your Mac if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and like I said earlier this video was made possible by Apex Minecraft hosting Apex is going to give you a reliable 24-7 Minecraft server so you don't have to worry about the port forwarding, you don't have to worry about starting the server every time you join it, and you don't have to worry about who you give the IP address to. It's going to be able to just join with anyone that wants to join and it will be safe, reliable, and secure and up 24-7. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.